Hello everyone, welcome to another Monday night at the beach. Christine and I are happy to be here and spending more time locally at home, supporting the Orange Practica and other events. This is a shout out to Tucson, Arizona. We'll be there this weekend. So hello, Eric and Rusty, glad you guys are getting along. And, uh, we're gonna support both your events. Uh, so tonight's class, what was it about? A pet? <laughs> Say the first thing? Paradas. Paradas, yes, and the robotes. That's a pretty good summary. In order to get the parada, what do you have to go through? Uh, ocho? Ocho, yeah, and, and what kind of, uh, what's going on with our axis? Yeah, okay. From forward to zero. Yeah, we had a forward tilt, and we are really, we want everyone to feel what it's like to be really vertical. What about followers? What are you doing? All four corners. Storking. Yes. Storking. Storking. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. So for the leaders, it's important that if we want to lead a transition, capital T, if we have a forward tilt at that moment of transition, what are we doing with our embrace? With our axis. Forward. Pulling it back. Pulling it back in our embrace. Opening up. Opening up. Yeah. Interesting, right? If we don't do one or the other, it doesn't really work. So what does this embrace? tell us, followers, this moment? To come to our own axis. Yes, yeah. to, really, to really actively take our axis, our vertical axis, yeah, and planting the four corners of our, uh, of our standing foot. Great. So that was chapter one. Chapter two, slash three, but chapter two, what was the meat of it? The rebound. Yes, and so now that we have our axis, we can do something uh, fairly interesting. Actually, the whole thing is interesting. And for the leaders, what's the whole trick? How do we create a rebound or a switch step? What are we trying to lead and then block? A, 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 a Ocho, correct. And the, it's all, the secret is the timing. When do we block her ocho? <coughs> Good, if you don't block it at all, what happens? She might do a forward below anyway, it's very tempting, there's a lot of psychology there. <laughs> but if you do block it after the point of no return, you might get an ocho, so just good to know. What is the point of no return? Right. Um, okay, and for leaders, a good exercise is to actually practice doing this switch step by yourself to try to get this movement in your body even if you become more compact later. Okay. And followers, what happens to your embrace in that chapter? Or actually both chapters? What's going on? Activate it. I hear a lot of leaders talking. <laughs> well, you follow a little too, right? You, you follow. Sorry. Yes, go ahead. I apologize. You said activate both sides. Yes, correct. Activate. So it's flexible. It's called engage elasticity. Know when to be flexible. Know when to engage. And what kind of flavors of engagement? Followers' choice. That's right. So we do the large. <laughs> Sorry, I'm stealing Christina's thunder. I guess we'll do a little demo now. Um, Where's the cicada? Uh, well, the cicada is an afterthought. It's icing on the cake. That's, I guess, chapter three and we'll work that into the demo, plus many other answers, okay? So the whole point is the meat and potatoes is chapter one, chapter two is what we can start doing with it, and chapter three is really extravagant. Um,
no tengo que ocultar ningún amor ni hacer, ni tengo pena que desenterrar. Si algún dolor está flotando sin querer, se empalan todos compañeros que son cosas del bandoneón, que por gusto nada más, esta noche de verbena se ha por llorar.